Welcome back to another Java tutorial. Today we're going to write a program that asks the user for a number, and then we're going to ask the user for another number to divide the first number by. And then we're going to divide the first number three times by the second number. So if they enter a thousand for the first number, and then two for the second number, we're going to divide a thousand by two three times. So we're going to get 500, because uh, 1,000 divided by two is 500. And then we're going to divide 500 divided by two, which would be 250, and then 250 divided by two, which would be 125. So let's actually code it out. So the first thing we're gonna need, the first thing we're gonna need is a scanner object. So let's do that. We can say scanner S C N R equals new scanner, and then there we're gonna do system dot in. So we're gonna be using this to actually get the user input, and we're gonna get an error here because we need to import Java.util scanner, so this would work. So now it's imported. Okay. So now we need uh, two variables. We could do int uh, user num. Because we're going to be asking the user for their for their number, so I'll just call it user number. Equals we could do scanner dot next int. So what this line of code is doing is doing two things. It's declaring a variable of type integer named user num, and then it's asking the user for the next integer. So it's asking the user, which would be me or you in this case, to enter a number. Say I enter five. Five would be stored inside of user num. And then we have to do that again because we need like um, a number to divide user number user number by. We could do uh, we just call it div, to short for division. Equals same thing scanner dot next int. So one thousand would be the first user number, and then the division would be two, which in this case would be div. And now we actually have to do like the actual like a division. So let's see, we could do user num equals user num divided by div okay so I know a lot of you are coming from math this looks weird but this actually works in programming uh, so let's let's focus on this part right now so we're saying user num let's let's use a thousand in this case a thousand and then div we could put two in there so we're saying a thousand divided by two which would be 500 which we would store inside of the original user num variable hopefully that makes a little bit more sense and then we would just print it out. We could do sys out, which is just short for system.out.print and eclipse, and it will just print it for me. And let's print out user num. So first, user num had a thousand in it, right? So we're dividing one thousand divided by two, and that's replacing the one thousand in here, and that's putting five hundred in there now. So if we run it, let's do one thousand, and then two, and now we have five hundred in there. So we just have to do this uh, like two more times. Okay, I just literally copy and pasted everything. It's everything's pretty much the same. Let's run it one more time. Let's do 1,000. 1,000 is going to be the first number, like in the example, and let's do two. So if we want, if we run this program, we're going to get 500 because 1,000 divided by two is 500. So this first, this two lines of code because it gives us a 500, and now user num has 500 in now. So we need to do 500 divided by two and then print it, which would give us the 250. And we could do the same thing. We have the 250 in here, 250 divided by 2, which would give us the 125. And let's have it all on the same line so we can actually see them together. Getting, getting rid of the LN just means we don't want it on the different line because LN stands for new line. And I'm going to put like a little space at the end so like the numbers aren't clumped up together. Let's run it one more time. 1,000 and 2. It's going to be 500, 250, and 125. And that looks like we're about done. I'll put the code on the screen one more time. And if this helped you at all, leave a like and subscribe. Let me, let me zoom in out a little bit so you can see the whole thing. Okay. And if this helped you at all, leave a like and subscribe. Here's the code one more time.